One of the most common ways to reduce weight in a casting, as well as reduce shrinkage in a larger casting, is to mix a filler material with your resin. However, there are a few more steps to this process compared to a simple mass casting. Let me stop here for a second and explain why we are casting instead of laminating. The first question we always ask when someone says that they want to make a mold is what is the size of the model? For small models, we recommend mass casting because it is easier and faster. For large models, we recommend laminating in order to lower the overall weight and save on material cost. And for medium-sized models, there are some hybrid options to explore as well. This method would be considered more of a hybrid because we are using principles from both casting and laminating. In this video, we are going to use the Freeman 120 low density fillers, which measure between 2 and 4 millimeters in diameter. The first thing we need to do is figure out how much of this filler we are going to need. So we pour the dry filler material into our dry mold cavity until it is full, and then we pour the filler material back into a separate bucket and set it aside. Next, after applying our release agent, we brush on two layers of a surface coat. This will assure that the surface of our part remains flawless despite the porous material that will be applied underneath. In this case, we are using the Repro surface coat, which is a urethane resin, but the same principles apply with an epoxy or polyester. After each coat, we wait for the resin to reach the almost tack-free state, which in this case is about 15 minutes. For more information on the tack-free state, please see our other video on this topic. After the second coat reaches the almost tack-free state, we add a single layer of our Repro laminating resin, which has a thinner viscosity than the surface coat. This will serve as an adhesion layer for the filled material coming next. We are now ready to mix the tooling filler with the Repro laminating resin. We add just enough of the resin to reach our preferred consistency. So if a porous and lightweight backup is desired, we only use just enough laminating resin to coat the fillers. After the resin is thoroughly mixed with the filler, we fill the mold and then use a paint paddle to pack the fillers down into the mold to make sure we haven't accidentally entrapped large voids in our part. Once the resin is cured, we apply a wet coat of the resin around the outside of our part to add strength to the edges. And once that resin is cured, we demold our part. The weight of this filled casting is about a quarter of the weight than it would be had we cast it without the fillers. However, since we applied the two layers of the high quality surface coat prior to applying the filled resin, the surface of our part is excellent. In addition to the Freeman 120 filler, other lightweight tooling fillers include Freeman 240 filler, which features greater diameters, as well as ceramic spheres, glass bubbles, and walnut shells, which feature smaller diameters. For some lightweight projects, you can even use a pourable urethane foam like our Freeman 1105. Here you see it poured into a silicone rubber glove mold. Within seconds, it begins to expand and form a high quality skin on the surface of our mold with a very lightweight and porous foam beneath the surface. After about three minutes, the expansion stops and the casting can be demolded in 20 minutes. Obviously, using a pourable foam will make it more difficult to control the backside dimensions of your casting, but this material is simple to use produces a very nice surface finish, and it also makes a great backup material or void filler. Finally, if you're looking for more than just to lighten the weight of your casting, different fillers such as aluminum, calcium carbonate, graphite, and more can be used to add wear resistance, improve surface finish and mechanical properties, change appearance, and much more. So not only do you have dozens of casting resins to choose from, these various fillers make your choices almost infinite. Thanks for watching and please call us or visit us online for more. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified when new videos are released. This particular video was created to complement our initial series of instructional videos. Originally released on DVD, all of our videos are now available in our extensive online video library, which you can view in sequence and for free at freemanvideos.com. And again, thanks for watching.